Something new that's come about in the new Unify Protect version is the ability to arm and disarm. And with the arrival of the new Superlink items and more coming in the future, this is going to become more and more key to how we set things up. So the main thing we're going to be looking at within this is Alarm Manager. And within that, there'll be Create Alarms and Create Profiles. And those are the two things that you need to keep in mind. Now, to get this set up, you can use any items within Unify Protect. You can use some of the new Superlink items like the Environmental Sensor, or you can use something like the old UP Sense if that's something that you're looking to do. And for me, I'm also going to be using the PoE Siren as well, which I have here. We also have a G4 Instant that I have right here, which we're also going to be using to set off some triggers. So let's jump in and have a quick look at how this works. One caveat I will add in from the start is I'm showing you what functionality is there today. Now, I know there's more Superlink products on the way that have been shown at certain trade shows, and we know that it's going to enhance the experience that you're doing. I will follow this up with a future video once I have more Superlink products and hopefully go into a bit more further detail. But for now, let's take a look at what's there. So within Unify Protect, we can go to Alarm Manager and I've already created some alarms. I don't think you need to go through the process. I have another video on how to create alarms if that's something that you're looking to do. So if we take a look at one of them here, which is personal vehicle, we're just choosing the object, whether it's a person or a vehicle to then use that as a trigger. The scope is the G4 instant camera, which I have. And then the sound in terms of what I'm triggering is the UP siren. Well, I'm also notifying myself on the alarm as well. So I'm actually gonna add a custom context here saying alarm, triggered uh, person vehicle detected. And I'm gonna just scroll to the top and just click save there. And that then basically shows me, and I'll tell you the reason why I've done that in just a few moments. So we've got three different alarms. I've got open, close, water leak for the sensor. Um, and we can have a look at that just there. So then that's going through all three sensors. I also have a motion. So if we're, anything is triggered motion on any of the door sensors or the motion sensors on any of the sensors, and we had the person and vehicle that I told you about. So creating alarm profiles, we can go and create a profile and we can give it a name. This one, we're just gonna call arm all, for example. And two additional things that you can add to them, you can do an activation delay or a schedule. So activation delay allows you to set it and we have one, five and 10 minutes delay, if that's something that you look at. And then we have a schedule. Now the schedule, you can go and click the areas that you want that to happen and you can adjust that. So that's 9.30 to 11.59. And then if we click here, we can click inside it and we want that to go to 6.30. Unfortunately, there's no way to duplicate this. So it's every day, for example. So hopefully that's something they build out on as the Unified Protect versions come out. But that's something we can do there and we can save that if we want, but we don't want that. We just want to be able to arm them all. And you'll see that's actually set to zero. So what I actually should have done is clicked the three sensors alarms that I needed. And then we click save and you can see now we have the three set off with that. Going back to the dashboard, you can see I have my camera set up there and we have the option to arm sight. So I can click that and it's arming and that's now set up and we can disarm. So really that easy to arm and disarm. One thing that you're probably thinking right now is, well, I can create multiple profiles. So Let's go and create a second one. And I'm gonna just call this arm night. So for me, for the nighttime, I only want the sensors and the motion sensors to pick something up. I don't care about personal vehicle. And we click save. Now we have both of these appeared right here and you can create as many as you want. The one thing you need to keep in mind again, when we go back to the dashboard is when you're arming, you're only able to arm one single profile. So make sure you have everything in that profile that you're setting that you want to arm and get set up. So just keep that one in mind as you're configuring these out. So if I wanted to do arm all, for example, we could do that and select that. Or if I wanted to do arm night, we could do arm the night time, and then we can go and arm that if that's what we wanted to do. Now, all three of these triggers that I have at the moment does link to the UP siren. So I will hold this just here and you'll hear that go off. I do have the plastic cover on it, so it's not gonna be deafening hopefully. Um, but you probably will hear it very quietly in the microphone. So we'll start with the first one. We're going to arm them all and we'll go back to the dashboard again and we select arm all and then we click activate. Now that that's activated, we can then turn this around and face it towards me. And you can see this has now triggered the alarm. You can see on the screen it says breach in progress today at what time it is, what's actually triggered and then you can click it to disarm if that's what you want to do. And then you can click it to disarm it. Now I'm gonna show you the same thing on the mobile app. And if I show you, just before we go to the mobile app, if I show you there, 
it says alarm triggered and that's what I put in the custom context. Now the reason I did that is because there's no way for the phone to notify you something happening in progress, the alarm has been activated. Hopefully this will be something that comes a little bit later with the next version of Protect, but I'm showing you what you can and can't do today. So within Unified Protect, you can see in the top right hand corner, I have Arm, and if I click that, I'm greeted with my two profiles again, so I can select which one I want. So again, I'm gonna do Arm All, and we're gonna activate that, and you can see it's now armed. So same process, what we can do, I'm just gonna turn this camera right here like so, my face is in the camera, and that's triggered within maybe three to four seconds at the most. So that's triggered that right there. And you can see also in the phone, it says breach. And if we click on the breach, you can see what time it was, the date, what camera it was, and whether you wanna deactivate it or view the breach event. So if we go to view breach events, it takes you and tells you what the actual breach was in the system log. And then we can go and press play and it will show you where the breach was in the footage. And then we can deactivate the breach if that's what we want to do. So that's how they both work on both the desktop and the mobile app. Within the system log, you can go there and you can filter it with site activity. And then you go to do armed and disarmed and breach if that's something you want to see. And then you can see all the breaches and the arms and disarms if that's what you want. And then when you click on it, it shows you the event of what the breach is. But unfortunately, again, in this part, it doesn't actually take you to the breach itself, but it shows you what's happened there. The last one I want to show you is having the arm nighttime. So, you know, I didn't have the personal vehicle detection set on the camera itself when I set this one up. So I'm going to arm this. And if I show you just how this works and here's me in the camera and you can see the alarm doesn't trigger no matter how long I sit here for moving around, it doesn't trigger off the siren. So you can see that that definitely works, but I know this is right here and this has been opened. And if I close this, you can see right there, breach in progress today, what time it is, the master bedroom door, and then you can click to disarm if that's what you want. You can see the two different profiles are working as you would expect them to be. So that pretty much covers everything that we wanted to talk about in Alarm Manager. So I hope you found this useful. If you wanna see something in the future in terms of scenarios or settings or something that you wanna see in further detail, when I do a follow-up to this video, let me know down in the comments below. But for now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.